Hey, what's up, everybody? It's KJ Chaos, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys three methods to make money on No Man's Sky. Uh, one way is kind of like a dupe method, but you don't use a refiner; all you use is your inventory. Uh, the second way will be the dupe method, and the third way will be the legit way for those uh, legit players out there, that like actually uh, playing the game legit and getting everything, but out of hard work and hours played. So for this first method I'm going to show you guys, um, you need to have all of your inventory slots filled and have one slot open still, but everything else needs to be filled with something, it doesn't matter what it is, and well, one slot needs to be um, open to where uh, it just has like, you can put something in it, like it just needs to have one, uh, if it has any more than one it will not work, so make sure you have one, and then you want to go over to your cargo and put whatever you're trying to duplicate in here um, inside your cargo you can you can put uh, resources up to 500 um, this method is really only used for kind of like resources and stuff like that because uh, inside your inventory you can only hold 250 of a resource but when you put it inside your cargo it actually puts uh, you can hold 500 and you're also gonna want a, um, a ship or something to actually put your excess into that you actually duplicated so in your cargo all you want to do is uh, when you do this method is make sure you do have a resource you want to dupe have a uh, 500 of it and then just go down here and put it inside an inventory slot if you guys notice there's still 500 of the chromatic metal there and uh, it's literally just does not go away at all and then don't put it back in there don't hit circle or you'll lose it make sure you go to your starship and you put it inside your starship so you keep all of that 500 and uh, so whenever you do this duplication method you make half of whatever you're, uh, you're duplicating the chromatic metal here you see I put the 500 in here I already had some in here already but if you go to your actual inventory slot there's uh, the 250 that you duplicated all you gotta do is put uh, this 500 back into your um, cargo slot and then you'll just be all set then just go to your exosuit and put your 250 that you duplicated into your starship to uh, put it there to get it out of the way this method is super simple and easy to do you do not need to have any type of rep, uh, refiners as in the uh, medium portable or the large all you really need is uh, whatever resources you're going to do just put it in your exosuit like I did here again there's still 500 in the slot and then go up and put it into your starship and the uh, 250 that goes into your actual inventory general slot that's the ones that you duplicated so you only can only duplicate half of it at a time but you don't lose any of it uh, and this really only really works best for resources because you can hold the 500 in the slot uh, if you can hold 10 of something, uh, well you can hold 10 of something, so it has to be basically resources and stuff like that that you can hold multiple, um, because even inside of your uh, cargo slot or whatever, you can only hold 5 of an item. I tried doing the cryo pumps, but you can't do it like that, so this is basically just used for any type of resource. And one more time, I'll go ahead and show you guys just so you get it again. Click on any type of material that you have 500 of, put it into your exosuit, and put the uh, and then just switch it into your actual um, starship. And then the 250 that you duplicated will go into your exosuit. I don't know how this works. It's just like a glitch. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and explain it to you. What you pretty much do is when you have the 500 and you put it into your exosuit, um, it puts all of it in that I can hold, but it kind of glitches out, and you still have your 500 in your hand. So just put it into your starship, and you'll have all of it still and all that anyways guys that is it for this first method uh, it's super easy to do super simple and you don't need any type of refiner to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the actual next method that I'm pretty sure you guys already know I already made a video about it um, and then yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do it again now this next method I've made a video about and it's super easy to do you guys are probably like what how does that even work because it's so easy to do that it's like wait how's it even duplicate anything I don't know how it duplicates anything it's weird how it does, but it's really simple to do. All you gotta do is place down a large refiner. Uh, this also works for the medium refiners if that's if you guys only have that. Um, literally the same way. It just has two um, inventory slots over here, and this one has large one has three. So the way this works, you need to have um, two of an item that you're trying to duplicate, and you have one throwaway item that you don't care if you lose because that's the one you use to actually duplicate the item that you need. Uh, you need 200 chromatic metal, 100 sodium nitrate, and 25 micro processors to make this. So what you do is, in the very top slot, you want to put your throwaway item into it, and uh, the bottom two, the middle one and the bottom one, you want to put the item that you are duplicating into. So here you see I'm going to look for something that I don't really necessarily need and I'm going to put it in the top slot. Here I put Cactus Flesh in there and then the other two slots I'm going to put Cryopunts because that's what I'm duplicating. 
like I said, guys, this is a really simple um, glitch to do. It's way more easier than the old method where you have to put uh, three portable refiners down, as you see me doing here, putting two of the crowd, well, one stack of crowd pump in each one. And then the, what's next you want to do is you want to grab the actual cactus flesh or whatever your throw item is and put it on top of the first crowd pump. As you'll see, it'll disappear. Hit circle on that and then put the crowd pump where the cactus flesh was and you'll see it um, reappear. Um, you just literally just keep doing this over and over again. Just keep switching the spots. And then when it gets down to the bottom, the switch is the top one. Literally just keep doing this over and over again, and you will eventually get a full stack. Um, sometimes um, the actual method will like not tell you when your inventory is full, so you'll just be stacking not like no items. So make sure you look every now and then because sometimes it will tell you when it's full, sometimes it won't. And like I said, all you gotta do is just keep putting the cactus flesh or whatever your throw item is on top of the item that you're duplicating and just replacing the item there. Me personally, when I figured out about this method, I was like, wow, that really works. Because uh, you can't even tell that it works. It doesn't even tell you that you're duplicating it. It's really weird how it even works at all. Um, I know like the uh, other method that used the three portable refiners, it got patched for now where I was gone for about a month. So um, I didn't know of any other way to do it. So as soon as I got back, I looked for some other ways. And this is the easiest way I have found. And like I said, you can also use the medium refiner also for this. Um, this the only other thing is that it'll be only have uh, the two inventory slots on the side instead of three like here. But you literally just do the exact same thing. Just replace the uh, throwaway item, put it on top of what you're doing. And just keep doing it over and over again until you get the uh, amount desired that you want. Like I said, guys, this is really simple to do. You can make s millions of money doing this. It just it takes no time at all to actually make money and just duplicate things. It's really quick. Now, for all you actual um, players out there like playing this game legit and getting your money at hard work and labor, here's the way to do it: is by farming. Uh, the best way to do it is to farm um, explosive liquid, which sells for about eight hundred eight hundred thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, that's how much it sells for. It was over a million before the update, but they dropped the price. Um, so what you need to actually make this is acid and gel. Um, to actually get those, you need um, cactus flesh, mordite, and fungal mold. To make the acid, you need fungal 600 fungal mold and 25 mordite. And for the gel, you need 200 cactus flesh. Um, so what, what I have here is I have a lot of uh, fungal mold here that is growing. Um, I can add more if I wanted to, but I haven't really because I haven't really made, uh, messed with this farm very much. But uh, what you need is to have a lot of these just for the fact that you need a lot of fungal mold to uh, make what you need and it grows in 30 minutes but you need a lot of it just for the fact that you have to have so much of it uh, you have to mix it with more diet that's how you make the acid and then it's really simple to do it just takes a this is just really time consuming uh, I think like it took me like three hours just to make like 50 million dollars doing this method um, it's slower but it does make you money so there's uh, three different farms you need to make. You need to make a cactus flesh, like I said, you need to make fungal mold and mordite. Um, in my opinion, the mordite isn't really a thing you need to make in a farm unless you really want to. Um, in my opinion, I'd find a planet that actually has a uh, different like um, wildlife that are huge because the bigger animals give you like 18 plus more every time you kill them. That's what I do. This actual this planet that I'm on has big type of creatures, so I can easily just get mordite from them. Uh, it's super easy to do, guys. Like this, in my opinion, try to find a planet that has big ones big animals but it's kind of hard also to find those type of planets so if you want just find a more diet suitable planet to actually grow it on there if that's uh, the route you guys want to go um, so next I'm going to show you guys my cactus farm like it's really it's not very big either it's just like uh, cactus bush everywhere um, I just put it there just for um, show because um, I just now barely started making a farm so um, it's really simple to do, just literally plant it, and make sure you guys have a lot of this also. Not for the fact you need a lot of it, but it takes two hours for just one plant to grow. So the more you have, the better that it's actually going to be, just for the fact that um, it does take two hours to grow. It takes a long time to grow, and like it's just really, really, uh, really time consuming. This is the most time consuming parts is that the cactus flesh takes so long to grow that you guys have to sit here and wait for it. But I think now that it actually grows like in real time, it doesn't have to grow um, in actual um, like game time. It actually does grow in real time, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, I forgot to actually show you guys what it takes to actually make or uh, be able to put all these down. It's different now. It used to be where you could just place uh, the certain whatever you're trying to plant uh, down, but now you have to have a certain something else with it to actually put down. I forgot what, what they all are. I'm pretty sure I show them here in a minute, but I'm not sure. So I guess guys, make sure you're worried of that, that it does take uh, another um, actual plant to put everything down. 
But yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I just want to let you guys know three different methods of actually making money. Um, I'm going to show you guys here of me making an actual liquid explosive and selling it. As I said, that is the slowest way to do it, but it, all of you people out there that actually like to um, do stuff legit and actually earn your money the legit way, then that's the way to do it, is actually doing it by farming or doing uh, missions, stuff like that. But farming is probably the... Uh, best way to make a lot of money. It just takes a long time just the fact it does take time to grow your plants and to actually make them into liquid explosive. So I know before the update liquid explosive sold for about one million two hundred or one million twenty five thousand dollars something like that before the or units before the actual uh, update came out. But since the update they actually lowered the price of it. It only sells for eight hundred thousand five hundred and as you see here when I'm about to sell it I actually found a place I sold it for a little bit more than that 800 like 9,000 or something like that that's what you want to look for and make sure when you're selling these you sell them in bulk because uh, when you sell it in an actual um, a place or space station it does drop the price after you sell it so make sure you sell it as much as possible um, at the given time anyways guys that is pretty much it for this video if you liked it please hit that like button and also hit that notification button so you guys are notified as soon as my new videos come live also if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button it really helps me out a lot I've gotten a lot of support over the past few months I uh, just recently got monetized thanks to you guys so much for that uh, I really I'm really happy for that and I hope I grow continue to grow over time but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time